Well, good afternoon. My name is Joshua Campbell Torrance. I'm the executive director here at the Webb Dean Stevens Museum in beautiful old Weathersfield, Connecticut. Uh, welcome to today's History at Three. We're going to take a look at uh, one of the portraits in the Joseph Webb House. Joining us today is uh, one of the stars of the show, Rich Malley, the curator of the Webb Dean Stevens Museum. Among the few portraits of Webb family members is this of Mary Hannaford Webb. And Mary was actually a granddaughter of Joseph Webb Sr., who built the Webb House in 1752. Now, the portrait may not look like an 18th century portrait because, in fact, it's actually a copy, a 19th century copy of a portrait that we suspect might have, the original might have been done by Ralph Earl, who's very well known as a uh, portrait painter uh, of the upper middle class in the years before, during, and after the revolution. Um, but, but again, there are certain clues to the, 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 the time period that, that sort of stick out. The costume is not quite right for the 18th century. The chair that she's sitting in is, an, is a 19th century style chair. And so there are just a number of subtle clues in here that tell us that uh, this, in fact, is a later copy. So, Rich, that was really cool and everything about what you said about the portrait, but isn't that a cell phone? Thanks for joining us on today's History at Three. What a great uh, portrait. Thank you, Rich. Thank you, Cindy. Now, we want to know, what do you think Mary is texting? <laughs>